Hello then folks, welcome back to today's episode of the Inter Milan Save. Now look, okay, we're 1-0 down to PSG in the Champions League, but as my great-grandfather once said, he was a big fan of Monopoly, he said, Ben, you've got a chance. So here we go, viewers, we're on the intro, let's get it. Great comedy there, by the way, thought of that joke before the episode, that's mine, so no one else be using that. Stand-up comedians of the world, I know you watch these videos strictly for your material. Folks, welcome back to the Inter Milan Save. It's me, not to mention FM. Woo, 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 welcome, Ben. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> that was that was quite sad, wasn't it? Now today, then, a big episode for us: the Champions League, a trophy we're still trying to win, and we might be able to knock out one of the contenders for the top prize in Paris Saint Germain. And if we can beat them and win the treble this season, that'd be fantastic. Later on, we play Bologna in a league game, but let's kick things off with uh, what's happened since we last met. Then Udinese one-one, Spal one-nil, and a one-nil defeat to Fiorentina. Disappointing. Uh, they were they were pretty decent though, and we just didn't really have enough to to break them down. Uh, Lukaku once again playing terribly and getting substituted. So you know, something's never changed, do they? So it's a Tuesday night. It's a game under the lights, the 10th of March. And worth noting, by the way, something we've not really talked about much uh, so far is that our under-youth candidates, our under-youth candidates, not a phrase, but a uh, list of youth players not yet available. We should get them quite soon. This is the key bit for me, though. This is a terrific group of players coming through and has the potential to be a real golden generation for the club. Oh. You know, Italy and me, we've had some good regens together. We've, if you've been watching for a while, you know exactly who I'm talking about. If you haven't, I could name them and you still wouldn't know. So let's select this team then to play away in Paris away goals matter so just win 2-0 then and you three basically or 2-1 two, 2-1 one. Two, one will do as well team wise for this one then Handanovic will be in goal Skriniar uh, will be there the fridge Ranoscia Lazaro one side Asimo with the other uh, Gagladini will play alongside Brozovic in the centre Foden behind Lukaku and Gabriel Barbosa to the side of him and uh, Minkovic Savic is a little bit tired he's always a little bit tired and I've got to be honest I'm sort of prioritising getting top four again so look we might see him at some point during the game but I'm happy to keep fresh legs out there no this is I'm talking absolute bollocks get him in get him playing alright come on and also transfer news viewers we sold someone. Um, could he cut the costed? No, he couldn't. We sold him. 21 million. 23.5 million. So it's more than I even thought. Uh, you can see there. Off he goes. Daniel D'Ambrosio. Um, yeah, he was 31. We got 23 million pounds for him. I think you, I don't have to explain much more than that. Considering I thought it was 21 million, then we've done even better than I thought. All these, by the way, all these transfers that are going on, I was responsible for none of this. So I'd love to say this is all me. None of it's me. You see, Pinamonte coming in next season. He's going to be fantastic. So if we are here, he could be a real part of our, our setup next season especially when we sell Lukaku we'll need strikers you can't select all these additional substitutions oh god okay fine imagine Alexis Sanchez getting the call you're not on the bench today Alexis sorry mate is is Danny gonna be on the bench he is yeah he, he always is though isn't he <sighs> Don't know why I bother with this. Don't know why I even play football. Manchester United fans would argue you've not been playing football. All right then, Paris Saint-Germain. Let's get it. Let's feel. I always do this. I, I like to shake it off. I like to feel good. You shake it off. You shake it off. Oh, oh. That's a song, right? Icardi and Neymar and Mbappe. Of course, Icardi, our player, playing on loan for them. And if he scores, well, he won't be back here again. Or they will be because I definitely need to sell him as an asset for transfer money. So I, we will be selling him. First highlight of the game, we're 43 seconds in and it nearly fell to Icardi. Mbappe, if they score early, blimey, that would have pretty much sealed the deal. They've already got an away goal against us. So if they score again and score again, then we'll be 3-0 down viewers and that would be a problem. We've started positively here. We're going to go to a more cautious approach, just at least for the first half. Stay in the game, Benny Boy, for heaven's sake, because we do get the ball in our favour. It's launched forward. Barbosa, if he can get him behind, here he can. Barbosa! If we score early, by the way, that, that changes the whole complexion of the tie. Lazaro puts the ball in. We're not there. I mean, are we going to win the knockdown? We kind of just about do. SMS gets there. Skriniar. I, I suspect this is going to come to nothing for us, but it's nice to see us work hard. Working nine till five. That's not what footballers do to make a living. Won't get, that's not very catchy, is it? Ball played in. Headed away. Verratti. They look very dangerous. Bernat. Oh, my goodness me. And we sort of froze for a moment there. PSG get the ball back again. Cleared away. It's going to have to be a Herculean effort from our defence to, uh, to prevent them from scoring. They've got some very talented attackers and wing-backs, of course. Bernat, one of the best players in world football, as we've established a few times now. Neymar, back to Bernat, and they're continuing this onward pressure. Oh, just stop them. There we are. That'll do. Lovely stuff. Let's get more balanced. We started positive. We've gone to cautious. Uh, we've only played 10 more minutes, but I'm going to a more balanced approach now. I'm starting to realise, really, that a goal for us is huge. And speaking of which, viewers, here we go. Barbosa to Lazaro. Ball played in. Lukaku! Oh, of course. Of course. He's not scored. Um... 
That should that's probably he should add that onto his surname. Lukaku he's not scored as uh, Mbappe. Oh my goodness me, that would have been disgusting. It's obvious, right? But Mbappe turns onto the best player on football manager this year. He's already good at the start of the game. He's he's outrageously good. As uh, Neymar goes for goal, well Handanovic has tipped that over. Great save. What is the, the keeper they've got here? He's he 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 been madness. Navas just runs around. Verratti another corner and cleared away. Come on, got to stay in this. Got to stay in this, boys. I'm going to encourage. We've got to, hang on. We've got a free kick here. Lazaro whipped in dangerous oh my word the delivery there was disgustingly good and i've used the word disgusting far too many times already so far you get towards half time liverpool leading leon 2-0 Mane and salah with the goals got an experiment coming up or simulation coming up uh with those boys uh very very soon so keep an eye out for that one by the way viewers i'll give you a little hint before half time uh it's basically we're seeing how liverpool would do without them that's the plan it'll be out this week but in different formats and different... There's a... Ben, Neymar, ball in. Oh, my goodness me. There's not, they've not scored. Like, oh, the longer this goes on without them scoring, the more chance Danny Graham has of coming on and ruining their, their party. Got the ball. Handanovic. It's got to be good. And Lukaku's hold-up play isn't bad either. Good. Nicely brought it down. Found a player. That's all I really want from Lukaku. Yeah, the odd goal, sure. But link it up for us. What on earth has gone on there? The fridge. Handanovic. What are we playing at? Run, just... The, the other way. The other way will do. And Danovic again. Just taking our time. Just relaxing. Just relaxing. Yeah, I feel chilled out. Lukaku, massive chance. To, to, bro, he proves the haters, Ron. Ron, Rom, Romelu Lukaku with a goal. I'm all over the place. And we lead in Paris. Oh my goodness me, viewers. I don't know where to look or what to do. It came from Handanovic. We were fanning around with it at the back, to be honest. It goes forward. Asamoah chips it on. Lukaku in on goal. Deadly. He always scores those. Powered into the top corner. And into Lee Paris Saint-Germain. I'll be honest. We played the we played the first look of this in the last episode. And I just thought, ah, oh, we'll see what happens. I don't expect much from it. Now, all of a sudden, viewers, the favourites. Come on, please. Now, this is this would be unprecedented. Barbosa, surely not. <gasps> Navas with a big save. Lukaku doesn't quite keep it in. Oh, God. I mean, he scored a goal. Phil Foden on a 6.5 isn't having his best game. You all know what I'm thinking. I'm not necessarily thinking Danny Graham, though. That's the, that's the madness of this. I'm thinking Lotaro Martinez to play on this left-hand side. We've played the system before. You remember in the previous episode, right? And we got the goal. We're going to do the same thing again. Those three boys up top causing problems. There's a, immediately a highlight. Lazaro, corner kick. Come on, into please. Let's, 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 look, we could win the Champions League enough. I mean, this is... We're pipe-dreaming it right here. Lazaro to Asamoah. Ball in. Barbosa! Oh my god, we've scored again! And, and Paris need two goals! They need two goals! Gabriel Barbosa has done it and we lead in... Oh my word, it's 2-0! I can't quite believe it! Lazaro, back to Asamo with the two fullbacks combined again. And Barbosa prods in. Oh, oh, viewers! Oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna do it! Oh no, third goal here and we can put our feet up. Come on, boys. I mean, I've gone for this, this three-striker formation. It's launched forward as uh, we get the ball under control again. As, as To be fair, as Paris around push for this, there might be even more chances, even more opportunities for us to get ourselves a goal. Oh, my goodness me. The fridge. Look how calm we are. Oh, God, no. Cavani, he's in. Oh, and Danovic has got massive hands. Oh, probably. I don't know. I've not seen them up close. Into Milan leading as we should probably go to a more defensive system. That's the issue right now. But how, how more defensive can we go, viewers? That's the question. The ball played all the way across. Neymar's going to pick it up on that side. Paris Saint-Germain are not done yet as Verratti hits the post and Mbappe pokes home. And all of a sudden, it's, it's even. But, of course, with away goals... We progress. We need to shut the doors here, viewers. We need to go a properly Italian. All right, you boys are going to are gonna have to fall back in line here. We're going to have to... Lukaku's got to come off. Since he's coming on, Lukaku off. We need to, as I say, shut the doors. I want ball winners. I want three of them. Oh, God, look at this. I want three ball winners just sat in front of the back four, just hoovering up. Just a Gagladini's going to play as well. Just who these three... Oh, look at that. Come on, then. We're Italian. Come on. If they break this down... Hats off to them, because we have we have shut the doors. As things stand with three viewers, the time is rolling away. Paris Saint-Germain can't find the gaps. They can't get through. They've got no hope. There's a free kick to us, though, late doors. Surely not. To seal the deal. Who's on this? Who's taking it? Sensi, the forgotten man of this save. Is he gonna, he's going to bang it. No, surely not. Sensi goes for it. Oh, it's over. Can we get back in? Hang on a bit. Can we just get back in the goal? We're in the two, there's a 2v3. I mean, why on earth? 
but very defensive. Obviously, don't do this. Since he's got a, a corner, I, re I realise what he's doing. He's taking his time on everything. I love everything about it. I mean, I don't need this highlight. I don't want it. Just kick it in the corner and run back and defend. Oh my God, what are we doing? Okay, that's fine. Oh no, we've got Italian viewers and it might all go wrong. This, oh, Martinez, it might all go right. He's in on goal to seal it, to send us through. Oh, no, that's never mind. Just waste time, gang. It's going to... Oh, there's 30 seconds left and there's a highlight. Why is there a highlight? Oh, fantastic. Here we go. Let's break away. We're surely going to do it. They can't win it from here, can they? Barbosa, referee. He's off. Thiago Silva booked. And a free kick. And the miracle of Paris, viewers. The miracle of Paris. Oh, my God. I... And this I can't I genuinely can't believe it we're gonna do it we're going to I mean the, the defensive attitude of us has been sensational and all without the help of Danny Graham although he's on the bench Alexis Sanchez would have ruined the mood Sensi free kick it ends it there it's, it's wide but it doesn't matter the amount of time we've wasted at the back end into two Paris Saint-Germain two and we progress I can't believe it I genuinely thought we were just gonna go out with dramatic failure I can't believe it you've done brilliantly to come back and win that we're, we're, th we're through. Liverpool go through as well. We're into the next round of the Champions League. We get loads of money. That's really good, actually. And Lukaku ends his goal drought of, I don't know, for four years. Oh, my God. I can't, I can't quite believe it. I mean, the dirt of going 5-3 at the end there was sensational. I'll be honest, gang. I was going to do another game today. I don't know. I don't know if I want to. Oh, by the way, our, our um, assistant manager has been poached, and Danny Graham's not quite ready to fulfil the role. So Buvak, uh, who I'm sure a lot of you will remember from his time at Liverpool before he left under bizarre circumstances. I don't know what happened really, but anyway, he left the team. Uh, he's coming to to join me as assistant manager. So welcome to Buvak as he as he joins us and replaces the man that's already gone. Um, yeah, he's, he's become an actual manager. I can't remember his name. To be honest, he's irrelevant to me. So Buvak in. As uh, he's become... He can't speak Italian. That's going to go well, then. But there we are. Amazing result. I kind of want to see... When's the draw for the next round? I have to I have to know what happens next. I think it's miles away, to be honest. I think it's, it's quite far into the future. But I'm just noticing teams go through. Tottenham have progressed now. Zebra have gone through as well. I feel like I'm going to disappoint Bologna fans by, uh, by calling it prematurely. I'm also hopeful that we'll have Regen Day soon. I don't know when that's happening. The thing is, gang, there are just some games as a, as a creator... I just want as standalone episodes so I can say, oh man, the game against PSG, you've got to watch it. And I don't want to then go out on a Bologna defeat, so which is very possible with this team. But oh my goodness me, unbelievable. I can't believe it. I can't believe we've done it. We, we kind of, we semi FM'd them to be fair. They had 28 shots and we had 11, 8 on target to their 12. But oh, I can, they can't believe it either to be fair. Paris Saint-Germain cannot believe it. Right, the next episode then. I'm so, sorry if you wanted more of this. I just, again, you, you've got to understand. I just want this as a solitary thing. The miracle of Paris. Oh, I, I can't believe it. We play then the, the Italian Cup semi-final second leg. I will include the Verona game uh, in that as well. So we'll play. We'll definitely get a league game in somewhere uh, as we play Atalanta in the second leg of that. We lead after the first leg 2-1. So it should be an exciting time. And then we've got Champions League quarterfinals to play. Oh, we might have to get some double upload days going uh, later this week, but hopefully you've enjoyed this weekend upload of the episode. If you're watching in the future, the weekend could be whenever you want, um, but that's going to then bring us to the end. Absolutely sensational. We've beaten Paris in Paris. Neymar and Mbappe will be in tears. A cardi, mate. <laughs> I can't wait to see you in the, the, for, for summer training. <laughs> I, de I definitely won't bring it up, so don't don't you worry about it. Ha, ha, ha. You should have stayed up. No, I'm not, I'm not texting him. No, don't be daft. I'm changing the channel, if anything, viewers. We need we need the money as well. The, mo the money is the best part. Oh, God. Okay, then. That's going to bring us to the end of the, uh, today's video. If you've enjoyed it, and I hope you have, do drop a like on it. If you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. There'll be videos all this week at 5pm. Do stay tuned and uh, get involved. Thank you so much for the support in the series. To say, dropping likes is massive for me. So if you can, can drop one for us, we smashed it last time. I'm sure you can smash it again. And I'll see you again soon. We love with care. From me, Dr. Benjamin, until next time. Goodbye. Into the quarterfinals. We're winning all the trophies, viewers. It's Not Serie A. Not Serie A. Just want to assure everyone, I'm I'm not editor Ben. Uh, I'm normal Ben. It's just I'm, editor Ben's not arrived yet. I uh, just thought I'd play the Bologna game, and well, we're winning it three 0 We might just have a penalty. Lukaku scored two. Pff, jobs jobs done basically. We're winning Serie A as well. Add it to the list.